So one of the best custom rooms in the terms of UI and you know that this is rising UI 2.0 unfortunately not available yet for most of the devices but I installed this official version of my Pixel 7a and if you are not having Pixel 7a don't worry this build might be available for you very very soon maybe next month but most of the things are basically the things which are changed here. I am going to talk about all of those things in this video as you can see it's official version and about phone UI is now changed. You have all the sensitive information already hidden so that's good and this is rising was 2.0 you can see the security updates of january 2024 last time when i made video on rising ui 2.0 first look it was approximately two months ago as far as i know maybe even more than that but it's the latest version one of the best thing about this customer what i loved is the launcher yes it's otter's launcher it's kind of same it's literally same like launcher 3 but why it's amazing because you can switch between the launchers very easily this is one of my favorite features to be very honest as you can see i'm not having any issues with the this recent panel etc but if you check out these customizations which are available in otter's launcher you are not fan of these what you can do is move on to the settings option move into the personalization section toolbox quick switch and you can simply switch between the quick step launcher or pixel launcher so in case you don't need a customizable launcher you can stick with the pixel launcher by default so that's one of the best things i just hope they will release it very very soon if you move on to the quick settings panel that is one of the main highlights it's now changed here and this one is not like that it's now changed it with a new update which i installed on my device the quick settings panel is modified you have some shortcuts here at the top right and left we have the maybe multiple users kind of things here data usage uh, etc etc things are basically same if you know that this quick settings panel is actually inspired from afterlife os but afterlife os is actually based on android 13 while making this video and that will also be updated with android 14 very very soon right now it's not but it's there so the quick settings panel is actually inspired from that that or you can also say that it's it's looking like the nusantara os it's looking like color os 13 14 i'm not exactly sure personalization section here you have some interesting things another thing which was not available in the previous update when i made video on rising os was a lock screen clocks in this case we have some lock screen clocks available if i move on to the lock screen clock styles we have ios style lock screen with ios style clock basically we have this oxygen os style we have color os style we have those those clocks which were present in the afterlife custom room it's available there too so yes these are some amazing things included here as far as i know these things were not available in the previous rising os update when i made video on and if you're still looking forward to if these options are available if you are getting this update or not i'm not exactly sure because i don't have any information regarding that but the changes which are going backward i just wanted to let you know in the background the changes so yes whenever the update comes for your device you can install this thing for sure i've installed it my device and if you also on google pixel device basically pixel 7a or maybe even it's available for pixel 7 or pixel 6 i'm not exactly sure but if you have these devices you can definitely try it out in case you did not yet some of the great customizations some of the great features quick settings customizations which you're kind of expected are already present here you can even customize the quick setting header images android 11 style we also have the volume panel customization but one this is one of the bugs which i found here it's also still in beta as far as i know so we have some bugs here if i use this volume panel sometimes if i change this i'm getting some force closes kind of weird but that's completely fine we can't do anything right now as you can see it is just showing me same kind of volume panel every time so it will change after some time but you will see the system ui four stop let me show you if i do this if i do this as you can see it is taking some time it's taking some time it is giving me force close basically it's not working at all and this is one of the bugs which i found but yes as you can see system ui keeps stopping sometimes after restarting the system ui things are just well and good to use but yes i just hope they will bring you the stable update very soon including this toolbox have the quick switch i have already told you that you can switch between the quick step launcher and the pixel launcher smart pixel and swipe to screenshot 
if you move on to the notification section you also find the island notification which is a replacement for retigger notifications now and upgraded version of retigger notification looks good because i tried that and it is actually improved version of retigger notification but else this is it these are things available here settings ui you already know about this so in case of pixel device user link is already available in the description if your other device user might this might update this update might be available for you very very soon so this was a, this was all thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to drop a like if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and goodbye